the first product in your kit should be a primer. The type of primer you should have depends a lot on your skin type. This kit is meant for dry and combination skin type. If you have oily skin, just opt for a mattifying and pore minimizing primer. The primer that I have here is from MUA. This is the MUA moisturizing primer. It's extremely lightweight and moisturizing. I like makeup that makes my skin look glowy and healthy instead of matte. So this primer is perfect for that. It gives you fresh and hydrated looking skin. It also makes your pores and fine lines look way better with makeup. Also it adds a couple of hours to the life of your makeup. After this we have foundation. I'm using the Miss Claire Everyday Foundation in B 6 True Beige and MT03 Caramel. MT03 Caramel suits me but it does oxidize a little so I mix the two shades together. This foundation has got 16 shades. It has a demi matte finish on my skin. It's got a medium buildable coverage and it's very lightweight. I generally build it up around my mouth to cover hyperpigmentation. By the way, if you're looking for an affordable sponge, you have to try out the Mars Wonder Blender. It is the most amazing affordable sponge I have. It absorbs very little product. It lasts long. You need to try it out. I love it and now I find myself using it more than the Real Techniques sponge. For concealer, I'm using the Wet n Wild concealer. This provides a very natural finish, has a medium coverage and did you guys know that this is tested in 7 different lightings? I just came to know about this when I was reading about this concealer and that is amazing. Maybe that's why it looks so natural on the skin and it's very lightweight too. If you don't like wearing foundation, you can just go with this concealer and it will cover dark circles, hyperpigmentation if you want a non cakey natural finish. This is perfect for dry and combination skin types. For setting your face, you can either use your compact or a loose powder, something like this. I have seen that loose powders keep your makeup matte for a longer time than compact, but you can definitely do touch-ups with a compact. So you can buy according to your need. I'm using the Revolution Real Love Super HD Setting Powder. This is a translucent powder. It makes my skin look airbrushed. It doesn't reflect light, so that's a really good thing. You will not get flashback and it will not create this horrible grey cast under your eyes. You can also use it for baking but I don't prefer baking. I just set the face. You can either use a sponge or a powder brush. So my base is complete here. As you can see, you can get a really flawless, natural looking, non cakey base with all the products that I just mentioned. Let's get to the eyebrows. A couple of eyebrow products are really important. First is an eyebrow definer. It can be an eyebrow pencil, a 3D definer or a micro brow pencil. We just need it to fill in the sparse areas of the eyebrows. If you have naturally thick brows, you need a touch of eyebrow filling products just to make them look more symmetrical and even. With eyebrows too, I like to keep it very natural, feathery, fluffed brows, not the dramatic block brows. So I just fill in the sparse areas and create some hair like strokes. A 3D eyebrow definer is best option if you are a very busy person. It's a multi-purpose product. You can create hair like strokes with it and you can also fill in your eyebrows if you are in a hurry. After this, you need a good eyebrow gel. You can skip filling eyebrows but you cannot skip eyebrow gel. It doesn't matter how minimal my makeup is, I always use an eyebrow gel because if you have eyebrow hair that's not in place, then there is no point in filling your eyebrows. Our next product is a blush, contour and highlighter palette. This is the best all-around versatile palette you can have that has a good blush, contour and a highlighter. All the three shades look amazing. The contour is neutral. It blends like butter on your skin. It's very blendable. It looks beautiful on deeper skin tones. The blush is vibrant enough. It's perfectly pigmented. You can play with the pigmentation. It's extremely blendable. It's a matte blush. And the highlighter is very finely milled. It gives you a very dewy and glassy finish. I'm using the blush and contour right now and I will use the highlighter later in this video.
For the eyes, I have the Mistlay Ultra Glow Eyeshadow Palette in 01. This has got a variety of shades for all skin tones. You can do all types of looks with this palette. A pop of pink, a pop of coral, bronzy eye looks, smoky eye looks, natural eye looks. You can also just enhance your eye shape if you want using this palette. You can create looks for a lot of different occasions. The shades blend really well. The mattes are pigmented. They have a little kickback but no fallout. The metallics are very shiny. You can apply them using a brush or your fingers. This palette also has a couple of shimmer shades and a dark matte brown for smoky eyes or if you want to add depth to any eye look. The palette has lighter shades, warm tones, pinks, corals, mauves and browns. This is also a very good option for someone who is just getting into makeup. It's extremely affordable for the quality plus it has got all types of shades. So it's a very, very universal palette. For eyeliner, I'll highly recommend gel eyeliners. If you are a beginner, gel eyeliner has a texture that's somewhere between a pencil liner and liquid liner. It's very creamy, so you don't mess up easily. And if you do mess up, you can clean it easily. The one I'm using in this video is from Nykaa. It comes with a very fine silicone brush that's perfect for application. You can also use a gel eyeliner for tight lining and you can smudge it out too. It's super easy to use and it's a multi-purpose product. For mascara, I have the Mars Fabulash Mascara. This gives insane lift to the lashes. The wand is thick but you'll get the hang of it after using it about 3-4 to four times. It's very long lasting, it's waterproof, it gives lift and volume to your lashes. You should definitely try this out if you have sparse and thin lashes. It will give volume and lift to your lashes. Next, I'm going to apply the lightest shimmer shade from the eyeshadow palette in my inner corner. Another product that I want you to definitely invest in is a setting spray. This one is from Seri. This is my current favorite. It's not too dewy. It's not very matte. It has a little fragrance but adds a couple of hours to the life of your makeup even more than that. It really sets your makeup in place and it has a super fine mist. I really like the mist of this product. After that, we are going to add some powder highlight from the same sugar palette. One more thing about this palette, the highlight, contour and blush shades are really close together but they never get mixed with each other. Something that I really like about this palette, you will not find the highlight on the contour so I don't know why but they never get mixed together. The contour shade is called Caramel Captain, the blush is called Coral Climax and the highlighter is called Royal Rose. You can also buy all the three shades separately like the blush, contour and highlighter separately but it will definitely cost more. Finally, we are on to the lips and I did not include lip products in this kit because lipsticks are a very personal choice. You can like any color and I am no one to tell you what color you should wear. Here I just matched my lipstick with my look and the outfit. I am going to link the lipstick along with all the other products in the description. You may like reds, pinks, purples, I have no idea. But if you want a shade wise guide, I am going to link some helpful videos in the cards that you can check out and that's it this is the completed look using the products i recommended if you are a beginner these 10 products should be enough along with i created a look using these products because i wanted to show you how these products perform and that you can create a really good look using these affordable products that are cruelty free and that's it for this video hope this video was helpful if it was not forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you in the next video Bye.